I've been thinking about becoming a vegetarian, but it's just a pretty big life decision. But ha taking a toll on me, all this thinking. Just need a good power up meal to, to help me to make the decision. This vegetarian stuff is hard. What's also hard is finishing up this ads project. Let's get at it. If you remember this video here, the video with the big sort of Viking looking axe that I had, uh, I had big plans for that axe, but I could just never, I mean, I need, uh, need to reheat treat it, so I need a little forge and everything for that. Just haven't been in the place to do it. Not gonna get done for a while. And I got this hickory handle here. Gorgeous piece of hickory that I bought for it. That's what I'm use for these hats. Cut it off, trim it. It's got plenty of heft to work. Uh, it'll make a perfect handle. So the small end of this handle, the bottom, the palm swill, is already um, big enough for that Maddox style fit. So I'm going to leave the top up here. I'm going to cut it off here somewhere. Here's the handle I found it out of this. So I think I'm going to make it a bit longer than that. Maybe here somewhere. seven or eight minutes with the spoke shave. And from what I can see, I haven't tapped her on yet. I can slip her right into there. My phone's beeping. Let's just see if... Ouch. Ooh, that extra length is nice. Hot out here. <sighs> so that's how far we got her. I've pounded her that tight. Now I'm gonna trim off a bit. I'm gonna leave probably half of an inch above just so, uh, I mean, as you're using it, it'll probably work a bit looser. You want to be able to pound it tight a couple times. So I'm just going to trim a bit of that off. Leave more than with an axe because of that Matic style fit. Part of it all. Got my boiled linseed oil in this little pump thing here, so it's a lot less of a mess.
we have here is an axe. You can see it's really rough, a lot of rust on there. Now on this side, which has a fair amount of mushrooming. Well, there she is, ready for a handle. The pole done. I know I've said this a lot of times, but I could not be happier with how this thing turned out. You got that ad's head, that edge that turned out just, just perfectly. I mean, gorgeous, that black patina. The pole's polished. Look at that hickory. How gorgeous is that color and grain? That's front to back, so you can see it runs perfectly. Real tight all the way around. You got those long, beautiful lines. Look at that grain. I mean, just, just perfect. And this, not necessarily me, but just how things worked out, you know. Got a real nice taper around that bottom edge there. Can't really have a palm swell on one of these because it has to get through that small hole. Almost all my axes have this. Any ones that I've worked on, anyways. Sort of the Weeder fan stamp of approval, I guess. Oh, I just love this. I hope you really enjoyed this project. I have loved this project. My first ads. And I just love it. I have a plan. I'm not sure if it'll work out, but it's my intention to come up with uh, sort of an old woodworking video sometime soon. I got a friend that has some property and some woods. And I want to get in there and use this thing. I want to try to hew a beam. I think that would be awesome. I think a lot of you guys would really like that. Please hit the like button, comment down below, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching.